Hello, my name's David Gauntler. This is a short video version of a talk that I did at the power plant, Toronto, called Creativity Everything. That's me there. Uh, there's my website and my Twitter if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. This point is about creativity as an elemental force. I was thinking about this recently when I thought about the pop stars that were around when I was young. Uh, this is like in the 1980s and things were strange and different and challenging and raised questions about gender and sexuality. Sometimes they just looked plain weird. It seemed like an experimental kind of culture, even within mainstream pop music. Strange and wonderful things coming out all the time. You didn't quite know what was going on, but it was different and odd and that was exciting. And you could take this point from Brian Eno that pop music isn't really about making music in the traditional sense of the word. It's about creating new imaginary worlds and inviting people to join them. And that sense of creating a whole new world that you invite somebody in to share, I think is really powerful, well beyond the world of music, to all kinds of things. So if you think about, for example, this is the uh, websites that I was making in the, the late 1990s and the early 2000s. They look cronky now, I know. But I was trying to create this whole kind of world that people could enter where there's just lots of different stuff to see and do, even to the point where I was creating things like theory trading cards or fake action figures that didn't really exist, uh, Lego sets about media theorists, just to give people a sort of different way into thinking about things and a different way of uh, dealing with knowledge and sort of having fun with it, basically, and creating this world that people could step into, like in that point. I think that's a really powerful point. Also, it leads me to think about this, an experimental culture made by everybody. That was what was so exciting about the internet in the earlier days, and still is. But these days, of course, we're aware of problems with the internet and how that's all panned out and social media platforms. I'll say a little bit about them shortly. But I still think there's a lot of power in this idea of an experimental culture made by everybody with all these features you can have self-expression there's no clear rules or gatekeepers you can try things out it's imperfect and strange but people are able to make stuff themselves expresses something about themselves and put it out there and that's really exciting i think and we can't just let that wither and die and be replaced by bland platforms like facebook or whatever we have to do better one of the ways we need to do better is about who participates in the creative cultures that we have. And I'm thinking in particular about the fact that these days there's a maker movement and people are kind of aware of the maker movement and the idea of make magazine and make affairs. And if you wander around, look, I've got a bunch of different pictures of different kind of creative practices. We've got painting, sewing, Lego, music, uh wearable technology we've got over there that's craft and the crafty festo about the power of craft you want to pause that and read that you do and jewelry making all kinds of different things there's so many different ways in which people can be creative uh here we're over to the more robots and hardware kind of corner now if you look at all of this and then we think about which area is covered by the maker movement the maker movement is basically this bunch of things you do have some embroidery as long as it's star wars figures you do have some dressing up as long as the girl dresses up as a robot but it's all kind of electronic technology robot ish and there's no real reason why a maker movement needs to be about that people are often doing great and interesting things in that there's all kinds of good stuff there but why if you think about all of the spread of possible different ways of people being creative why do we especially highlight that technology end as being superior to the other things or, or the area that we get excited about i'm not sure why certainly i'd like to broaden things out there's nothing wrong with that stuff in the maker movement corner but can't we embrace a wider range of creative practices and a wider range of people that like to engage in those things because not everybody likes to be doing the stuff with robots and soldering we're also aware, of course, that the internet is not such a welcoming place. I pulled up here a couple of uh, surveys about uh, people's experience online. This is about young people. It is worse for young women in particular online, putting your head above the parapet, saying something, putting something out there. You get abuse. This actually is for both men and women because young men were also reporting this to significant levels. And, of course, you're, you're aware of that problem about the internet. So there's trouble all over the shop. What are we going to do? 
I was thinking about this and I do my a drawing a day project, which I revived recently where I do drawings every day when I can. I ended up doing this one on the 8th of October, thinking about how we've just got to overcome this gloom in every way we can to get past the box of dull stuff in the middle to a fresh new place. I was really surprised that the gloom turned out to be inner word technology, as it says at the bottom. I never thought that was going to happen. I thought technology was the exciting thing. The next day doing my drawing, I got this saying we've got to help people find and create the tools and inspirations to leap beyond that box of gloom because that's all we've got. I think we have to really sort of double down on creativity, but more so, there's no way we're going to just like give up on doing interesting things and making use of technologies. We want to do that, <laughs> but how, you know, there's so, there's so many constraints. I think the only thing we can do is to try being even more creative, think of better ideas. We need to use platforms, develop platforms for creativity where people can be creative and share stuff with others and inspire each other with the sparks of inspiration that are so powerful. Only that way can we get to a new place, move beyond the disappointments with technology that we have at the moment, to a better world where people can make and share, inspire each other, have networks of communication without all of the other stuff that makes us feel depressed. This can still all happen. Because it's all still here, you know. Uh, we've still got nice and kind people wanting to do interesting things. We've still got powerful technologies that mean that we can do these things. I feel at the present we've got kind of bogged down in all kinds of problems, but we've got to leap beyond them, and I hope we can. Thank you for listening.